in New York City for the weekend with my boyfriend and we've been taking the bus, well, public transit. And can I just say how freaking embarrassing it is at the fact that I haven't been on the subway or on New York public transit in a few years. So I've been very rusty and I'm getting lost and I'm losing like my sense of like where I am, <sighs> which is a shame, but happy to be back in New York for the weekend to be a tourist at my home. We're on our way to Castella Catessin, which I've never been to, so I'm looking forward to it. I've been to its competition in Montreal, Schwartz. So hopefully, hopefully, um, Cats is good and as good as people say it is. filming on my front facing camera so the quality is probably not great but I just got out of the Summer of Soul documentary that was so good and really powerful and affirming and I definitely recommend if anyone wants to watch a really great documentary about black culture, New York, Harlem in general black history definitely check it out i'm now going to meet up with my boyfriend and his friend uh because they just finished watching a basketball game i feel like it's a good good time well spent time well spent um in brooklyn today what did you say about Just finished having early dinner at this place called Cafe Brudinks. Sorry, that's what the sound in New York. The city is so loud. But just finished having dinner at this place called Cafe Brudinks. It was so good. I had this stew fish dish with like the most delicious rice, and it was pretty good. So now we actually are like pretty tired. So we're going to head back into the city. And head back into the city and rest and then restart our day. Oh. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's the last Sunday in New York. This weekend has been so jam-packed, but I'm excited. I'm honestly excited to go back home um, because... <laughs> I've been running around for two weekends in a row and I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to some relaxation and some decompression. Um, and I have the week off from work, so I'm really looking forward to just spending some time at home, getting my mind right, getting my place right, and um, yeah. We've been staying at uh, this freehand hotel, and I may like show some clips around the room, but this room is so small, um, and I'm sharing the place with my boyfriend, so it has been definitely, it's been tight quarters, and I personally have never stayed at a hotel in New York City, um, so it's interesting to 
see what that experience is like. Um, I was not surprised at the fact that it was a small, that it's like a small room because it's Manhattan, so everything is tiny, but it's just, it's so small. <laughs> um, but it's all good. We've been making it work and what I really love about this place is that it is close to so many things, which I feel like is mostly, which is mostly the case for like being in, in New York City, but I'm putting on my makeup because we are getting ready to go to brunch and then go into pop by the Harry Potter store before heading out, heading back to Philly. So I'll take you guys along, but yeah, this vlog isn't very talkative. It's more montage -y. So hopefully that's not a problem. <laughs> So we're currently at oh, Pug. <laughs> we're currently at Central Park after having a really great breakfast at Jacob's Fickles, which is one of my favorite places to go in New York City for breakfast, like Southern food. Um, and then we just walked up to Central Park because there's like this area they're honoring Seneca Village, which was which is a community that used to be that was predominantly black that existed here before central park was created and was displaced for the creation of central park so i wanted to see what they had out here that commemorated that community and also see what they had but like only a few minutes into our walk did we sit down so <laughs> we're not so much actually learning about it but relaxing because it's been raining all weekend. So, just wanted to check in and say hi. Yeah. Is this like the most gorgeous bird that you've ever seen? Even though I like grew up in New York, I'd be lying if I said like, I went to Century Park often. I rarely came to this park and it's so, huge um but it's really beautiful we just saw the most gorgeous bird don't know what type of bird it is but we saw the most gorgeous bird and i just i'm surprised at how lush this park is oh all right squirrel sighting someone's also a little afraid of uh bugs so we have to be mindful about where we're walking I just made it back home and I know that I probably look as exhausted and tired as I feel but I wanted to quickly show the very the only thing that I brought back from New York and just close out the vlog to the MoMA design store in Soho um, and my boyfriend actually pointed out the store i was like i he was really looking for something else but what i found in there was this cup that i've been really interested in getting for a few years now but never made the purchase um this is just like one of those ceramic cup of those like very nostalgic new york city coffee cup that you often find in like diners or like bodegas when you're getting coffee a cappuccino um and it's this ceramic it's ceramic let me, let me open it so this is what the cup looks like oh it makes me it's like these really interesting like grecian designs um in the cup and it feels pretty good 
reminds me of like my childhood essentially i've been like interested in getting that cup for a while since i saw i saw it ages ago like years ago and i just never made the purchase so it just wasn't something i was like interested in buying but when you see the thing that you've really been wanting in person i was like yeah i gotta get it i need it and it was only like 15 it was only it was 15 dollars, which is like more than like a normal cup but <laughs> it just holds special value growing up in new york and just seeing these cups everywhere and i, I want to have like my little piece of new york with me um but like i said i'm home this weekend was like a really good one we packed in a lot even though it feels like we did nothing um but we packed in a lot we got a lot done saw a lot of things and i can't wait to go back but um one of the things that we tried to do but weren't able to was the harry potter store that just opened we weren't gonna go then we decided to go and by the time we got there it was like gonna be a four hour wait it ended up being five hours we ended up getting informed that so what happens is like you get to the store you have to scan this qr code at the store and then they put you on like this virtual waiting list and then they tell you where you are in the line and what we'll and then you like they'll text you essentially when it's your time to enter the store and you have an hour after they text you to get to the store which is like cool great whatever but obviously we were like short for time and by the time we got there we just ran out of time so we just ended up staying in the area hoping that and it's in like the Flatiron district area but we stayed in the area hoping that it would go faster than the four hours and it ended up being a fail but now we know and now you know if you're interested in going and we'll just have to go next time um but because I, I really i really wanted the butterbeer and i really wanted to see what the store was like but it's all good it's not going anywhere just opened that's sort of it for this vlog i'm going to like shut it all down and decompress and i'll chat with you next time bye she says she the one i bet she thinks she is saying don't have no trust i don't know where you been i need a break